Bianca was definitely one of my favorite characters in the film, and so I had a pleasure not only playing Bianca, but constructing the costume and doing the makeup. Um, Bianca, if um, the viewer hasn't put it together already, she is the true identity of second Bianca, hence the similar name. And what I really was intrigued about with Bianca is just the monstrosity of a character that she is and basically just reduced to a blob on the ground. And it was really great going from Craig's original uh, sketch to costume, especially on a budget. And a lot of people think that we did this cast of my body and all these things. And unfortunately, we're at, not at a point in our career where we have the space to do like a whole cast of my body and all these things to do a mold. And it's actually um, a latex suit, cat suit, that we uh, used in a different film built off of with uh, other fabric and painted on latex and gap filler to make those big pustule like sores on her body um, and basically just a lot of latex and so it actually ended up, ended up becoming quite heavy and thank goodness I was playing her because I didn't mind uh, struggling. Uh, it was definitely um, difficult playing Bianca because I uh, it was kind of a mouthful learning all of her and it was very emotional for me. I remember reading the script and it being uh, really saddened by her character. Um, so it was a lot of fun, but because of the, the weight of the costume and having to be on the ground, it was a physical strain and emotional. Um, I had to cry a lot physically, so there was that element. And I just think her character and both second Bianca are just like these beautiful, sad uh, beings uh, who I feel like you could really explore and um, so it was definitely a joy and obviously getting covered in goo uh, was a magical thing. I had a lot of different favorite shoots when it came to makeup and special effects. Probably my favorite effects to work on would be any time we had to work with the uh, tendrils or the pipes, which uh, we just kept referring to as dicks because they were phallic and, well, you know, looked like a dick. So um, there's a lot of puppetry involved in those shoots where Elliot is uh, in the workspace environment and working with the, the, what I call pipes, you could call them whatever you want, but basically organic shapes coming out of a wall causing lights to come on if played with. Um, and we got to play with a lot of uh, slime and um, use puppetry and I'm a big fan of both of those things and so basically that was my favorite and uh, anytime blood was involved or intestines that was also my favorite but when it comes to difficult shoots uh, those actually would also be some of my favorite times of special effects but also really stressful because with the budget we were working on we couldn't always fully test how an effect might go, so it was all theory and storyboards and doing small tests. For example, uh, the tendril shoot um, where we use something called the butthole wall and there are all these things coming out of the wall to uh, attack Josh, which we had to do in uh, reverse motion. And in theory, that sounds like a really easy thing to do, but when you're in a space where you haven't been able to test these things, you're kind of just hoping everything works, and we got really lucky. And uh, that was a really difficult shoot, though. Uh, having it all play out in a way, and all, us all work together and troubleshoot if something didn't go quite smoothly, um, but it was still a lot of fun. And then, of course, there was the Bianca shoot, which uh, I was in a heavy costume, and it happened to be one of the hottest days of the year in San Francisco. And um, well, so be it, I still had to do the shoot. And uh, even that was fun because the heat added to the pressure and the emotion of uh, being a distraught character. Definitely, um, we were working with a very small crew. Our core crew really consisted of the main producers, which would be Craig and myself as Dreams for Dead Cats Productions. And then we had our uh, second assistant director, Anthony Russell, and Matthew Mikowski, who 
did so much work, so many varying tasks. In fact, when you watch the credits for Elliot, you'll see a lot of names on repeat being Craig, Anthony, myself, and, and uh, Matt. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of passion going on within this team, specifically, and even the main actor, Josh, uh, who played Elliot, drove us so many days going to and from the set, taking us to buy things that we needed. And then we had all of these other people who would come to help on build nights and during the, uh, the shoots. And um, we're not at a point in our career where we can pay people, so we pay them with kindness, enthusiasm, entertainment, food. I, I did a lot of the cooking, so hopefully uh, people enjoyed it. And uh, we always had a lot of fun, like making jokes on the set, listening to music. Um, but mostly the passion that was there with everybody and uh, wanting to make the film happen um, is what really made us thrive and be able to make Elliot a reality. So uh, there was a lot of fun. I can't even go on and on, but the crew humor and all the jokes that are still ongoing with us, even though the movie's finished, you know, those are the moments that you, you take with you and we'll always remember.